reduce the hay that the boys are getting. I I needed to do this a while ago and I was nervous about it. It's hard for me to it's hard for me to say don't give them as much hay and then not be there to assess. And that's one thing that I really learned with Stella is that and from some and from Fiona is that feeding horses is never just a one stop shop. You don't just give them the food and walk away. You assess them every day and then you raise a little and you lower a little to keep everything good and that's what needs to happen with Finn today because he is a chubby sucker. Anyway, welcome to today. Like he's like a balloon, yeah. Good morning guys. Good morning. We're here and they see us and they're excited. <sighs> These boys are life saving. You're life saving. Look at how happy you look, Finny boy. Hello, handsome. Finn, you gotta go on a diet, my love. Look at all this. Finn, things. Stella's gone, love. He Stella's, knows. he doesn't know. know. Do you know? The girls were here the other day. Do you know that they're gone? That she's gone? I always dreamed that Finn would get to go back with Stella, and the reason, hi, handsome, is I'll tell you why when I'm in the barn, but I always dreamed that he would end up in a field with Stella. <laughs> you got two girls now, Finn. He doesn't know who to go to. Oh look, I didn't die this time. Did you die before? Yeah. Almost. Hi. <laughs> we love you. We love you so much. And it's gonna be a crazy few days, Finn, because it's Christmas, but we'll be back. We're gonna not see you for a couple of days. Do you think we'll be here on Boxing Day? I miss them a lot. Yeah, and then we jumped them. I miss them so, so, so much. Like, I just miss having them. And I feel kind of bad. Like, I know nobody will love them the way that we love them, even though they're being cared for. And I know that. But being cared for and being loved are so different, you guys. If you have an opportunity no, mister. Gotta... to love instead of care for, I dare you to, to do it. I dare you. Yeah. Finn's already getting reminded of his manners. Oh, of course. It's scary. Oh, it's like, oh I, I forgot. Finn needed Gabby. Hi, Storm. Uh, you know, you know, Storm? Yeah, well, that's what happens when they sit in a field, even though you were here two days ago. Hey. Yeah, they were just Hey! Storm, it's okay. Storm is the horse I have the least connection with. Even though he does love me, he does know me, and I love him. I might have here. more of a connection with Storm than you do with him. Did yeah. But, 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 yeah, Gabby never let anybody love him. Like, she never let anybody do anything. I know. I'm sorry. He's hungry. Do you think he's hungry? I think he's a knob because of that sound. And it's dripping water up there. Oh, Storm's being crazy. Um, it's true. He for really Christmas, I picked their fields, cleaned their shelter so when they lay down it's all soft. Hard, frozen horse well, poop is not comfy. Looks. Yeah. He's the horse Gabby always wanted <laughs> today. Isn't he the horse you always wanted? Right now, yes. <laughs> this is what he was doing with me when I was pulling him back. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel emotionally drained. So, what's happening today, Sophie? Um, the saddle fitter is coming. The saddle fitter is coming, you guys. Today Look we. Look how nice extended trot that is. Today we purchased Finn a saddle. Does Finn have hay? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get the best horse, Sophie. 
I just feel flying change. He's on the wrong lead now. He's on the wrong lead now. He's always a little fast one. He does flying changes for now. <laughs> it's Stella. It's Stella saying, be a good boy, Storm. Do you oh, think? that's what I dreamed. That we were with the mares and I saw Stella and I could My just horse actually beat. <laughs> <laughs> That's heartbreaking. Did you pet her, Sylvia? I've been praying to dream, and Stella. And you guys couldn't see her. And we couldn't see her, but only you could see her. And how was she? Did she feel happy? Did she feel... She was really happy. Was she really happy? Sometimes Sophie dreams the things that I want to dream. I always get... You're keeping me on. I always get comfort from your dream, Sophie. So, she was with the mares? Yes. In our field? That's amazing. Did Willow was happier than Gracie. Willow was happier than yeah, Gracie? They were surrounding Stella. They were surrounding Stella? Mm -hmm. I wish I had that dream. <laughs> you might have to. Yeah, because, I mean, they just rode them. Did you ride them two days ago? We, we, um, we, they jump like mostly everything jumps on Friday. Here, just small. We made them jump. It mm. feels a lot better. When your thighs are burning, just do this. It feels a lot better. <laughs> Why are your thighs burning? Holding on? These are Sophia's stirrup lines. I can't kick him with her stirrup lines. Before he threw a tantrum, as soon as I got on and walked him past that, he was like, oh my god, he's gonna attack okay, me. Okay, the like, noise is done now. And I couldn't kick him. Stella. Stella, come to Finn. Stella, come to Finn. Storm doesn't really have a relationship with Stella. I want Stella to come to Finn. Imagine. Imagine Stella came and told Finn to behave and Finn was good from now on. Like, imagine. One thing I always want to do moving forward is never be in a rush when we're with our boys. I never want to be in a rush with them, right Gabby? Even when it's like a million degrees below zero and we're frozen. Sure. Gabby's getting ready to jump on Finn. The saddle fitter should be here. And Fiona's gonna come and be with us during this and give us kind of a lesson and do some jumps with him in the new saddle. So Gabby and Sophie are both gonna be involved in the new saddle fitting. Gabby's gonna be the one to tell us if the saddle works for Finn and Sophie's gonna be the one to be sized. So, it's diet day. Happy Christmas. Happy holidays, Finn. You're getting less food tomorrow. <laughs> I guess it's the standing. You guys remember how much they used to run in our fields? And I guess, I mean, Storm's not getting fatter. Just Finny. Finn. Finn is just over here waiting. We're, we're waiting for the saddle fitting. And he's just over here in my purse smelling everything, giving me lots of kisses. The thing about our horses, literally, they kiss. They kiss more than any horse I've ever seen before. Right? You are a kissy boy? Yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Finn! Finn! I don't know, we should dry him better. No, I'm, you have to brush the hair like this so that it dries faster. Oh, that's So good. I did that on his face and neck. So today, today and tomorrow is going to be super, super warm. So they're getting on their lighter blankets. And then if we're not here when it gets cold again, uh, we're coming back again in two days. Wait, today's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So we're coming back in two days and we'll change their blankets. Brandon said he'll be here though tomorrow if they need it. Oh, you. No, I have to brush his face up so it dries. Look, he's got dirt. I know. He was a superstar. Because... It's sweaty, so I'm like rushing. So now we just have to get Superstar. So how how did you like that saddle fitting? It was good. The first one's um the best. Yeah, it's a because... classic. And Finn liked it better too. Finn and I both like classic. I only like these kind of shoes, like plain black, no shine, round toe. That's the only kind of shoes I like. So uh, we did it, you guys. This boy's getting a saddle. Mom, not this boy. No. What you say to your horse matters, you guys. Being called big boy. Because when I call him big boy, he's good.
good. But I call him baby brain. He tries to bolt with me. I feel really bad. Boy, he goes, I feel bad. He's cold. He's he's wet still. Oh, we're drying him off. We just need to cool around his neck. All right, yeah. Wait until he's dried off. Did you give him some treats? No, not yet. You're going to get some treats, handsome. Did you guys see how impressive he was today? Did I got I missed your lesson. Good boy, stormy boy. I'm starving and we're headed into town to do some shopping after we're finished with the horses. But like I said, I don't want to rush it. I want to be with them. And I want them to know that we're with them. Fiona got us some stuff. I'm going to show you. And it's lucky that she brought it because I'm so hungry. She gave us some stuff for Christmas. Brandon said that Finn is eating some grain. So, oh, that's not good. That'll hurt him. So, Sam. So, we bought these buckets that can stay in the field. And... It, only one head can fit in at a time, so nobody can steal anybody else's grain. So that is Storms. And this one over here is Finny Boys. So we got their colors. I also poop picked their shelter. And I am going to bring some shavings and fill it up for Christmas for them. There's so much healing and kindness, you guys. Fiona gave us this. She gave us this beautiful little box, Christmas box, filled with amazing chocolate cupcakes. These are cupcakes with raspberry filling and, and buttercream icing. It looks incredible. There's one. No, it's, these are for Christmas. There's, there's that. And then she gave us a bag of homemade cookies, peanut butter and chocolate chip and then she gave us a loaf yeah a brand new bread so this is an old bag she actually baked this bread peanut butter cookies as well and then a good friend that we met at our old barn chris gave us this beautiful bag and a beautiful card and she gave you leggings for comfort to comfort you yeah aren't they beautiful they're like jeans look at they look like they have zippers yeah and she gave you the same ones. Yeah, these are so warm. They're thick and comfy. Do they have fur inside? They're warm. Oh my goodness, so lucky. She gave me a beautiful card and this beautiful candle. And it says it's the, the great outdoor scented candle and it smells beautiful. And what she said in the card is that words can heal your heart. But hopefully over time, but hopefully time will allow you to make peace with the loss of Stella. And then she said some more stuff, but I believe it, you guys. A lot of you guys expressed sadness at not being able to do anything for us, but words can heal, you guys. Words can heal and words can hurt, and so many of your words helped, are helping to heal us. And so I just wanted to say thank you to, to all of you for that, and thank you to Chris if she is watching for this thoughtful, thoughtful gift, and to all of you guys who gave us gifts so many people in person gave us amazing kind gifts and I'm so thankful for that we are home from the barn and I wanted to close out the video by telling you guys something when Stella died for two days I did not see the light it was the darkest two days of my life the only other time I've ever felt that dark and that awful was when my mom died it was it was it was hard and one thing I've always been able to do my whole entire life I've always been able to look forward I've always been able to see what was going to come next and it always helped me through any hard stuff but I could not see the light I'm okay Ruby I'm okay it's all this is good this is good you guys I could not see the light and then a friend said something to me and suddenly things started to feel a little tiny bit clearer. At first when she said it, I was very resistant. I was like, no way, that is not going to happen. And then suddenly things started to make sense to me again. And I started to see a light. And since that day, things have been changing. We have plans, you guys. We have something in the works that is going to change what Stella meant to us. And it's going to change the direction that our life is going to go. It's going to change. It's going to help us to continue Stella's story. And it's going to help us to show people what love can do. Anyway, I don't want to tell you everything that's going to happen. But with any luck, on Christmas Day, 
you guys are going to get the surprise of a lifetime. But anyway, that is it. I don't want to say any more. I'm going to end today's video. And hopefully it all works out so that the timing is good. But regardless, I have focus. I have direction. And I and Stella's life is always going to mean something huge. I'll share soon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.